What's going on, Morn here, and we have patch notes, uh, followed by the patch tomorrow. Um, so, Dear Adventure will be launching a new patch on August 12th, 2021. Uh, normal maintenance, it's normally pretty quick, uh, and then we'll get diamonds, 500 diamonds after. This maintenance might be a little bit longer, and we're going to get into why that might be the case. New feature, and I haven't really covered this too much. Um, and, and I should have. And I, before it launches, because this actually doesn't launch until Monday, I will, I believe it's Monday. The calendar. Yeah, Monday. I will go over this one in a little more depth in another video this weekend. But let's talk about it. Go over the notes with it now. Uh, build your team to fight against others. Pinnacle Arena is now open. Check it out via Manor Arena. Unlock conditions. Clear adventure stage 20-50. Season one will start it on August 16th. More details below. Jericho Expedition on Twitter, Pinnacle Arena. Starts soon. Okay, so what this is, <clears throat> this is you are going to create three teams and you're going to fight three teams against one another. It sounds a lot like um, how Free Team Arena is, only rather than three different players, it's only your heroes. Uh, so this is going to be a little interesting because we know what the meta is, uh, but it doesn't really, it's not going to matter too much in this because if you make one meta team, I don't know how many other players have resources and have leveled other heroes who have a full team of 250 and fully geared heroes. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how you're going to do that. I have an idea of a couple team compositions that I'm going to run, and I will once again cover those in the video later this week. Event info. Event starts from 8-13-2021. The Divine Realm Games is now open. Elite has to light up a jigsaw pieces and win rich rewards. The Boss Challenge event is now open. Powerful bosses are about to invade the Divine Realm, Dear Adventures defeat them with joint efforts to win rich rewards. Special selection package is now available. Super value offer. Don't miss out. So we're going to work from the bottom and go up on this one. I don't know what is what would constitute a super value offer in this game yet. We haven't seen them now. We have seen super value offers in DH games other game uh, idle heroes where they'll do like the the card that for our anniversary card like the anniversary card is just like insanely good value you don't miss it it's like 20 bucks in it or 50 even if, to be truthful if the anniversary card with the amount that you get they charge 50 bucks for it people would still buy it so i'm very curious to see what this super value offer selection package is going to be this is something the community has been wanting better selection packages, better better value within with for purchasing because right now the value on purchase packs are not very good. Um, they haven't really changed since we started the game. There's been a couple hero selection chests available for $50, I believe, and people are not happy about that. Then the boss challenge event is now open. This sounds like Night of Ashes. They're, maybe they're just renaming it rebranding it but that was actually a really good event i i felt that they needed to do something a little bit different the boss needed to be challenging yet engaging and those that participated should have all gotten the same rewards whereas like on server one every day i was the i for that time it probably won't be this time since people have caught up to me i got max rewards on each of the days which i mean for me, obviously, I want to do that, but at the same time, I would have been okay if they would have taken like the third place rewards, maybe up them a little bit to like the second or even the first, and everybody got those as long as you actively participated. I wanted to see that event as a free-to-play event, and it, it was and it wasn't. It was still very heavily, it was still heavily into the pay-to-win uh, concept because. You had to have teams like mine in order to do max damage 
Um, the other player that was consistently number two in our server group has actually quit the game. So that, but there are a lot of very strong people within Empire, Greed, um, that can definitely compete and do more damage than I can, I think, now. Then the last one, Divine Realm Games, complete the jigsaw puzzle. I like this event. It is a, you don't think about it, you do your normal daily stuff, and you get and you get rewards, and they're not bad. I, I mean, they're nothing to, they're, they're not like super amazing rewards, but you, now we're pairing them up with the boss challenge, which if it remains, if it at least remains how it was before, you have a week of event that is completely free to play friendly, and I think the game really needed that. Um, those two summon events within like a summon event, well, they called it a Stardust event, but it was a summon event. You needed to use like 300... 80 summons total to get everything i'm sorry 280 and then there was there was a, a week off of that and then we went right back into the wish event which the wish event is actually which is good um and there are some people that had some crazy good luck on the wish event i mean crazy good uh hero and empire i believe he said he had got seven copies of meryl that's just insane because I did the first wish event, I did 300 and 300 uh, advanced summons, and I think another 120 factional, and I got three copies of Sarah. Only, of Sarah, so it wasn't exceptionally, exceptionally good. But I think there's a lot of RNG to be considered in that. Experience optimization, optimize gain subscription. Now the same account and different servers can. In and all enjoy a subscription bonus. This update subscription will no longer be counted as the first top up. Added a claim all feature in the Hall of Honors. Minus Runes Adventure Rankings has expanded the rewards to floor 200 in the Hall of Honor. Um, these are all very good optimizations, uh, especially the Hall of Honor claim, claim all. If they want to make an improvement to the manor in the future, they could have a push to claim all button on the manor also. Um, but that's also that's a very good feature to add uh the additional rewards to floor 200 i don't know anyone pushing 200 yet just because we're all kind of finding a, a an area we can we can easily farm and get max rewards daily uh for me it's the it's the pigs that's the the most efficient place to grind for the runes and then the last one, optimize the game subscription. That one is fantastic. It should have been done far before. Um, not necessarily that you had to make it cross cross account, which actually kind of ends up being better uh, than what I thought it needed to be. This this is actually a really good one. So all those people that have their main account, they can still go on all their little their little alternate accounts, and they can still greatly greatly benefit. And that's super awesome to me. Um, I actually don't know of any other game that does this particular feature in that manner, and that is a very, very good feature. One thing I want to talk about real quick, even though I'm going to go more in depth on the uh, on another video with this, is the Pinnacle, the Pinnacle Arena. There are very few ways to attain the the gold and the elixir that you need to level heroes because it is very, very expensive. I, if I'm not mistaken, it's 492 million of each of them to max a hero. That takes a very, very long time, especially with people now trying to evenly distribute levels to push within the tower. If, if you do that, I, I mean, I'm way behind on tower. I really just never think about it. Um, this is the next few days is when you want to push arena or i'm sorry not arena uh, when you want to push your campaign it's a fantastic time to do it because as you get those additional every five levels or so you get an increase to your your hourly gold in elixir accrue and if you do that you'll be able to use those little items that say two hour bag of gold two hour you don't get the bonus from from the things within the, um, the the little tree, but you do get the bonus to the level that you're on. So maxing out to the highest possible level, 
will be greatly beneficial to you because when you pop all of those, like I got a couple hundred of each of them and I decided that I'm going to push campaign and see if I can finish it or come pretty close. I haven't done it in like, um, I don't know, like over a month and it's pretty easy actually now. Um, I'm almost on Nightmare Chapter 15 and I'll probably be on Nightmare Chapter 15 by the end of today because it's with campaign, it's it's not a difficult thing. It, you find your team that works, and then you just spam you spam the the, the fight button. You just keep doing it over and over. Um, it is it is devoid of strategy, of course. You do need some strategy. There are necessities that you need, like uh, Cassandra. I think is pretty much needed. And in Chapter 14, they have a lot of enemies that hit the lowest target, and they really hit the lowest target. Like Margaret is literally getting one shot. Um, so I run Cassandra and Cynthia as opposed to Sarah in this situation because Cynthia twines them. She has a very good twine rate to begin with and I just give her Sarah's gear. So now her twine rate is like with her normal plus the 86% that it's at, it's well over, it's, it's well over a hundred percent and it's making it easier for me as long as, as long as. Ass gives either Cynthia or August the energy first turn. Um, if not, then you know it's just it's just a dead run. You don't really come back from it because they kill your damage dealer really fast, and you don't really want that. Uh, and I I tried Sylvia, I tried Genji as alternate damage dealers in it, um, just to have more damage with August. Yeah, that didn't work either. Um, they were still Margaret one shot, and then they killed. It was normally it was normally Matthew that they killed immediately thereafter he's still rocking seven star gear all in all though i have to say i'm very happy with this uh this week's note i think they're i don't know that they're listening i'm not going to go as far as to say that but all of these things that are mentioned are in, are have been talked about by the community um some of them are big fixes some of them are not and it's it's important that the game progresses. Like I don't want to quit the game. I really enjoy the game. It's gotten a little stale, of course. We're still waiting for a couple features, quality of life features that they promised us. But eventually they'll get to them. And when they do, it'll just make it that much better. Um, kind of anticipating new heroes to come before much longer just because it's been a while. Um, we got three new heroes. And it's been about three months of now because I think we're, we're like somewhere in the middle of our fourth month of gameplay. So I would like to see some new heroes soon just to mix it up and maybe and maybe the friendly battles. I really want those because especially with this new game type coming out, it's having a good composition is going to matter. We don't know what the rewards are going to be, but I mean, with this kind of game type, if you look at idle heroes, the rewards in that versus like solo arena and free team arena, the, the rewards in this kind of game type is normally much higher and better because they're more involved and you need more to get them. So being able to have better teams is going to be important. Knowing composition is going to be important. We can't all, unless, now it could change, they could run it to the situation where it's not three teams individually, but you have three teams and as one team loses, if you have one team that didn't lose, they just carry over. And if that's the case, um, that's, that's actually kind of suck if that's the case, but I don't think it's the case. Um, is a very nice. It's a very nice update. There's a lot of stuff there. I I kind of wish there was more quality of life updates, but they did hit what I felt, even though it had no effect on me and it never affected me. They hit one that was like super important hit, and that was the subscription issue. There's a lot of people lost a lot of resources over that. So I'm happy that they're that they're fixing this, and the manner that they fixed it, as I said before, is pretty awesome. No other game does that. Well, that concludes this video. Uh, this this week, I'll have a video on the three the three team versus three team. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and thank you all. Have a great day.